I'm back from the dead. Yes, I'm back with a new video, Rayman Legend Review, with my mate Riley. Also known as the PlayStationer. Let's crack on with the video. Okay, the storyline is... Well, pretty much Rayman and his friends have been asleep for a century, but now they have woken up to try and defeat all the dangers and nightmares in the Glade of Dreams. Yep, that's it. Pretty much. We, I give this storyline a 3 out of 10. And I give it a 2 out of 10. Your, your, your doesn't count. Now the gameplay is actually quite fantastic. Quite fantastic indeed, due to the variety in levels, underwater levels, stealth levels, boss levels, and all out brawls. You pretty much have all of it in this game. Yes, plus the fact that there are over 75 levels, indeed. Also the inclusion of weekly challenges, daily challenges, and loads of characters to play with, you're assured never to get bored. Plus those daily challenges mean that you can prove your console prowess throughout the entire world. But will you be the Rayman legend? The downside to this is the multiplayer. Indeed. Honestly, I find that although the more characters on screen makes it more fun, the character interactions do make it more difficult and sometimes causes a little friction between the players, don't you say? I also find it quite hard to see what you're doing when you're in a level like everything coming at you. You just don't know who you are, even if your characters are completely different colours. So overall, the gameplay with the weekly challenges, daily challenges, loads of characters, variety in levels. With the downside of multiplayers. This is a fantastic romp. Very incredibly. Overall, an 8 out of 10. The visuals are beautiful. The amount of detail Ubisoft has put into this game is just incredible. A big step up from Orion. Very much indeed. The beautifully drawn levels, the backgrounds, mm -hmm. the 3D bosses, how well they've animated them and the characters. I think these visuals are ones to look out for. Although I must agree that these visuals are not particularly groundbreaking or special, especially on next-gen consoles. Yeah, it's not too much of a step up from current gen with the 360, PS3 or Wii U. It still looks just as beautiful on those consoles. I must agree. Overall, I would definitely give this a 9 out of 10 on visuals. Yeah, overall the visuals are just fantastic. Visuals not to be missed. Okay, a roundup of today's episode. Due to the lack of storyline and the impressive visuals and the could be improved gameplay, what would you give this? Honestly, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10 it is. Thank you for watching this episode of Gaming Games Hero. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, click Riley's face here to watch the top 10 Donkey Kong songs. Also, you can click my face to go to my main channel, Pathetic About Hair. Dude, dude, that's a crap name.